Hello, uh, my name is John Frankie. I'm the theologian residence at Second Presbyterian Church, and I wanted to share a brief uh, video with you about a new initiative that uh, we are launching through the Adult Formation Department uh, to take us through uh, these next few weeks of social distancing and hopefully give us a chance to be connected not only to each other in some way, but also to God and the mission of God in the world, which goes on even in the midst of uh, this, this time of social distancing. Uh, so we're going to do, uh, I'm going to pro uh, produce a six-week Bible study series uh, titled Sent into the World, Christian Formation and the Mission of God. And it's picking up on this idea that will be the subject of our first study, that we have been, as the disciples of Jesus, sent uh, into the world to continue the mission of Jesus. And so we're going to look at what that mission of God is that Jesus enacts, and also uh, our role in participating in it, and then how we need to be formed as people uh, to be most effective in doing that. So this will roll out over the course of six studies. The first uh, will focus on John chapter 20, verses 19 through 23, is titled, So I Send You. And we'll look at that uh, moment when Jesus sends his disciples into the world in John's gospel and take a look at what that means. Second week, uh, we will look at all these texts, all these studies will come from the Gospels. We will look at uh, Mark chapter 9, verses 2 through 8, which is the transfiguration story, which, uh, and the focus will be uh, listening to him. So we're going to consider what it means to make Jesus our, our primary, the primary voice to whom we listen, and we'll see in that story uh, some questions about the relationship between Jesus and the law and the prophets, and then we'll also ask questions about what that means for us. The third week, we'll focus again in Mark chapter 12, verses 28 through 31, on the greatest commandment. We'll spend some time thinking about what is going on when Jesus announces this great greatest commandment with respect to our relationship to God and our neighbors, and also, interestingly, if you haven't thought about it before, to ourselves, so that both God, our neighbor, and ourselves are all part of uh, that greatest commandment. In the fourth week, we will look at Luke's gospel, chapter 4, verses 16 through 21, and I've titled that, The Mission Statement of Jesus. So one of the questions that we'll ask is, what is Jesus up to in the world? And scholars uh, of the Gospels often focus on that Luke 4 text, which is comes at the very beginning of Jesus' public ministry after he's had a time in the wilderness. So as we come off our clearing season of Lent, as Jesus came off what for him was a clearing season and launches into his public ministry, we get a glimpse into what we're called to be about. And then in the fifth week, we will consider uh, Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 through 20, the last four verses of Matthew's gospel, a text famously known as the Great Commission, and take another look at what it is that Jesus is calling us to do and how we're supposed to go about that. Um, and then finally, in our sixth week, we will return to John's gospel, chapter 17, verses 20 through 24, with this great prayer that Jesus actually prays for us. Uh, in the first part of um, chapter 17, Jesus praying very directly for his immediate disciples. But there in John 17, starting in verse 20, he turns his prayer to his future followers. Uh, so praying for us, and that study is titled, That They May All Be One, and we'll focus on the importance of unity uh, for what it means to live into the mission and purposes of God in the world. So what we'll do each week, I will produce a brief video somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 to 20 minutes, maybe a little longer uh, occasionally. And I will also produce some study questions 
um, that will be posted on the on the webs the church website so that you will be able in the context of your own home or perhaps you could do it by yourself or i'd also encourage you to connect with folks in your social groups perhaps with zoom i think these are really nice uh, studies to be uh, that could be done very fruitfully with a small group five six seven people on a zoom call or facetime or skype or whatever your preferred means of uh, gathering is during this time you can watch the video in advance and then work through the questions and the hope is that way you'll have some some guidance uh, from me but also uh, lots of space to consider questions together in in a small group or by yourself if you would prefer uh, the hope is that this is a way that we will be able to uh, grow in our faith together, we'll hold faith together during this time. The questions are designed so that you don't have to be an expert. Uh, hopefully I'll have given you enough to chew on uh, in the videos, but you can tackle the questions without being an expert. Many of them ask what you think about certain things, how you respond to that, what, how you will uh, move forward in thinking about your own life in light of, in light of what you're learning. So I hope that this will be valuable. Uh, check, keep posted on the church website as this rolls out over the weeks to come. And obviously, if you learn about this two weeks after we've started, that's no problem. You can just pick up at the beginning or in the middle and do it uh, with a group. Um, I'd also especially like to encourage you, if you are, if you do use Zoom or uh, another means of communication that you would share this with others. Um, so hopefully there'll be all kinds of small groups springing up. As those groups form, I would be delighted if you would keep me and therefore the church uh, connected to what you're doing in your group, who's leading, who's participating. And additionally, I would say if you would like to be in a group, and you don't know how to make that happen yourself or don't want to, uh, please be in touch with me at jfranke at secondchurch.org and I will work to see what I can do about uh, getting you plugged into a group. I have some folks who are uh, willing to be leaders, uh, so we just need to find times and connections, but we are committed to working with you in that way if that's something you're interested in. So I hope this will be something that will be valuable, that will help you to grow in your faith and keep us connected uh, with each other and also with God and Jesus in the great mission uh, in the world that we have been called to participate in um, together with God and with Jesus and in solidarity with each other. Thank you and I hope you enjoy.